When you have a bunch of data in a Google Sheet and you want to find and highlight certain values, you can do it by hand, which is slow and tedious and error prone, or you can let Google Sheets do it for you automatically using a great little feature called conditional formatting. This is Allison from Computers.mom, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the basics of using conditional formatting and point out a few common pitfalls and how to avoid them along the way. Here's some sample data a list of Floridians who have signed up for a lobbying trip. We have their names and ages and a bunch of other information like their political affiliation and whether they are students. Let's say we want to find and highlight in this sheet volunteers who are minors. The first step is to select the cells that contain the relevant data. So we're going to look at the age column. That data is in cells C2 to C41. So we have two choices. We can select just those cells by clicking and dragging or we can select the whole column that contains them by clicking on the column header here. Selecting the whole column is obviously faster and easier, it's just one click, so let's do it that way. The second step is to set up the criteria we're looking for. On the menu bar up here, click Format and then select Conditional Formatting, and the Conditional Format Rules pane appears on the right. This pane is where we set up the instructions for our conditional formatting. You can see that the range is already set. That's the column we selected from C1 to C1000. Now, let's define what we're looking for. We want to highlight cells where the age is under 18, so we need to change the rule for Format Cells If. Click on this field to see the list of options. There are lots of them, from empty cells to tests based on the text in the cell or the date, or based on numeric values. Since we're looking for minors, we're going to select less than as our test, and right below that type in 18 as the value. The last step is to specify what we want the cells that meet our criteria to look like. The available options are here, and a default style is pre-selected. We can make them bold, italic, underlined, strike through, or we can change the color of the text or the fill color of the whole cell. And we can use combinations of those too. Let's make the minors pop by changing the text to bold and the fill color to bright yellow. As you make your selections, you can see what the result will look like right here. In other words, the instructions we just gave for this conditional format are, look for cells in the range from C1 to C1000 whose value is less than 18. When you find them, make the cell bright yellow and the text bold. Did it work? We're not seeing any changes in the data, but that's because there are no minors in the top part of the sheet. If we scroll down, you can see that it is working. When we're happy with our selections, just click Done, and the conditional formatting is saved in the sheet. One big advantage of using conditional formatting over doing this by hand is that if we change the data later, it will automatically be updated so we won't miss anyone, as long as the conditional formatting includes the cells with the new data. For example, if we add a new person at the bottom of the list and they meet our criteria, notice that they automatically get highlighted. That's because the conditional formatting was applied to the whole column, even the empty cells. And if we make Alice Hendricks younger, she will also be highlighted. So if the data changes, the format gets updated automatically also. You can see how this saves a lot of time and avoids errors. Notice that the conditional formatting pane stays open, but you can close it if you want it out of the way by clicking the X at the top right of the pane. It won't have any effect on your formatting. Let's try one more example. We want to find volunteers who are Republicans or lean Republican. That data is in column D, political affiliation. So it's the same three steps. Select the cells that contain the data. So we'll click on the header to select column D. Open the conditional formatting pane again and set up our criteria. If we only wanted to select Republicans, we could choose text is exactly or text starts with. But since we want to include both Republicans and those who lean Republican, we need to use text contains, which is more flexible. That'll cover both cases. And we don't have to use the whole word, we can use just enough letters to match the correct cells. Notice that the formatting updates live, so we can see the effects as we enter our criteria. R alone won't do it because there's an R in Democrat. RE does work, but let's use at least three letters to be safer so we don't accidentally include the wrong data. Notice also that the tests are not case sensitive, so entering lowercase r still matches the uppercase r in Republican. Now for the formatting style, let's change the text color to red, which seems appropriate. 
We can make our selections manually, as we did before, but there's also the option of choosing from a few preset styles, which you can see if you click on the Default Style button right here. As it happens, red text on a white background is one of the preset styles, so we can just click on it and we're all set. But look what happened. Because the word Republican is in the column title and we selected the entire column, the conditional format affected the title as well. So let's fix the range to skip that first cell, and now the title goes back to normal. So as you saw before, the advantage of using the entire column as our range is that if we add or change data in this column, it will be formatted automatically. But just keep in mind that your column includes titles as well. As you get the hang of this, you can even have more than one set of conditional formatting apply to the same data. So if we wanted to automatically color the Democrats in the same column blue, all we have to do is add another rule for them, like this. If you change your mind later on, you can remove any conditional formatting rule in this pane by just pointing to it and clicking the little trash can that appears next to it. So that's all there is to it. You can get really fancy with your conditional formatting, but this should be enough to get you off and running. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and questions below. Click like if you found this helpful, and be sure to subscribe for more Computers.mom videos.